So they usually don't uh, catch the adult bunnies. They could, maybe. Um, they usually don't. Um, one of the other ambassadors that we Hey guys, I am out a at Aware, which is an animal wildlife and but rescue center. And I am currently looking at Red Tail Homes. These guys probably might not want to try for that. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys they, can see. The red tail hawks are really but this is Tappy the Isle. Hi, Tappy! Um, she went to sleep, but she was up earlier. She's so cute. And there go Gazer over there. Welcome, YouTube. This is my day. She has bars that run across her tail. So, thus, they named it a barred owl. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, these guys are very, very common. If you ever hear an owl and they are calling who cooks for you at night, and then accompanied by a loud monkey call, uh, that would probably be a barred owl. These guys are the most vocal. Um, these guys are not. So they just don't, they don't spray you because they, they're not afraid of you? Is that the deal? Yes, okay. pretty much. Um, they can and the will spray, they but they have not sprayed us because <laughs> we are not a threat to them. This is Mark. This is Cleo. You can see their names on their signs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can see that their color is very different from each other. Um, you always think of striped skunks as just having the one white stripe, um, but they can have a lot of variations. Just like people have different hair colors and things, so their fur can be different pattern as well. Um, so it really doesn't really make a difference that Mark is, he's got a lot of white over his top and Cleo only has it on her head. <laughs> but cute. it's pretty cute. Um, so these guys are insectivores, so they love to dig for bugs um, that eat like fruits and veggies and plants as well. Stories of, there's this girl who's offended, like a wild crow, who like hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Are you a parrot? <laughs> I'm saying hi. Not as a door that's parrot. Hi, hi, hi. Um, they're still yeah, wild yeah, animals, so they haven't been domesticated. Parrots can be domesticated as well. Yeah, they're just kind of. You know, most people think you know the. So this is Jeffrey. He is a black rat snake. You saw his sign. Um, they are named because they turn mostly black when they are adults, and they, rat snakes are, are a group of snakes that mostly eat rats. Um, so these guys are really cool to have, especially around neighborhoods, um, they will keep the wild rat population in check. Um, in general, the species is just kind of docile, and so that's why it's very common in the pet trade. So if you were to get a pet snake, it's probably very common that you get a ball python. And the reason is because they don't get very big, at least like long. So in contrast, he's maybe only like three or four feet. Um, he can get really big around though. And hey y'all, we are grilling. After we went to the um, thing, we are grilling. So here's our chicken. Get some more grilling here. Garrick the master griller. He got his uh, thermometer, you all. It's a typical Sunday with us. You finna throw one more back on there? Those are the big ones. Mm-hmm. 
we like our chicken chard. And we don't know what to do about it. We got these weeds. Gotta get something done on the bottom. How you guys doing on a Sunday? We went to church this morning. And then after church, um, we went to Arabia Mountain, a height. And then we went to the, uh, it was called Aware, which is the um, Animal Awareness uh, Rescue Center. And we saw those things. We I didn't get stuff like the gray horn owl. I didn't get a chance to get a picture of those because they were so far back. Like we could see them, but you couldn't really take a picture of them. So we saw screeching owls, which are like really a lot smaller than the other two owls. I can't remember. I can't remember what that first owl was called. Do you remember what that first owl was called? Bar, Bar owl. So, but they are different from the barn owl because we asked that question because we always say barn owl and we're not really sure. So, we saw some skunks and they were actually, the crazy thing about those skunks were they were actually, uh, somebody tried to have them as pets. So, they are very familiar with humans so they won't really spray you. But a lot of things, we learned some really good things like as far as spraying you. Um, it's like their last, it's like the, the last thing that they do because it takes a lot of energy out of them. So we learned a lot of things today. So Garrick and I love nature. We love to hike. So we had a great time. It's been a while since I vlogged you all. There's been so much going on, which I'll explain to you all a little bit later. But right now we're just in, we're just enjoying our Sunday, which is like my only off day for right now. I'll explain a little bit later. Oh, and we saw some talking crows. I don't know. Some of you may know, but I didn't know crows could we like. Saw them on talk. the whiz. A what? Saw them on the whiz. Uh, on the whiz, really? That's what they depicted. They did though, didn't they? We've had one too many cocktails, cause we talking about some talking crows on the wheel, on the wheel. But they did depict that on the wheels. That's crazy. But one of the questions that Gary asked is, you know, crows are just like parrots. They can they mimic everything that you say, and like as you can see on my last video, they were saying hello. I didn't get the part where they were saying, I love you, but we were asking the question of, you know, why aren't they kind of like Paris? Like, people love Paris. And what did she say, Gary? Because I, I know, what did she say? The reason why they're because, not. Because they're protected, they're federally protected, and you can't have pet birds. Paris are exotic animals that are from other countries. Okay. Other countries aren't our federal protection. Okay. But like they were repeating everything that we said, and they were, if we laughed, they laughed. I did not know crows were that intelligent. I really didn't. So excuse my ignorance, but I didn't know that. So very interesting. We are done grilling, you guys. Let me show you the food. I got some string beans and rice in the house, and. Oh, I'm sorry. That's our chicken regrill. I asked Gary what he wanted for dinner. He said he wants some grilled chicken. So that's what we're having, guys. I'm going to do a cooking video soon. I should have done one when I made the lasagna, but I was being lazy. <laughs> Let me show you my chicken, though. Look at that. Ooh-wee. So we're about to go in the house, make us up a plate, find us a good movie to watch, and we're going to enjoy our Sunday. If I don't come back on the vlog, you guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Which, um, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I put this the next day. I usually don't do that, so. <laughs> Waving at my neighbor. So you guys have a great day. Bye. Hi, you guys. So, we have our very first truck. For our transportation company. Here it is.
We will be hiring a driver soon. Truck number one. We're gonna put this on the road. Get some get some good income coming in guys and then we're gonna buy truck number two. We'll put Thornton and Thornton Enterprise on it somewhere on here. The Thornton and Thornton Transportation. Yeah, I got a little thermal cup. Let's sit in there, it'll, it'll stay right there. How far you know the truck around gathering up here? Ah, uh, we're going to Tennessee, run pretty much Tennessee, and, uh, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina. We got right so far and then uh, we got other hikers. They'll bring the truck so far and then we'll pick them up like from oh, there. Yeah, coordinated. Yeah, like some of them like bring coming like from Chicago and they'll bring them so far and then we'll pick them up from there. Yeah, that makes sense. Morning. I am cooking me some ham. We'll get cooking Garrick and I some ham. And you guys, I can't eat eggs in the morning, so I made me some potatoes, made Garrick a few potatoes, and I'm going to make him um, some eggs, uh, like a fried egg. And here's the coffee. Tonight is my late night. I'm looking really rough, so I'm not going to go on camera, but I have some news to share with you guys uh, concerning me. So, I'm going to keep you trying this, and I will see you guys in a few. <laughs> We're not on the right to this music. To this music. Let me hear y'all pump it up like this, like this, like this. I said, hit the hook, tell, fuck you up. Fuck time, fuck you up. What a way for my Wednesday, right? <laughs> Bye. Hi, everybody. Oh, it's a couple of days later and I'm at the house. I didn't get a chance to vlog after I got home last night, you guys, from Wind Down Wednesday. I showed you guys some videos of that. So, came home and Garrett watched um, this series that we love to watch. It's called From Dust to Dawn. It's over and done with, you know, as far as like the seasons and stuff. But sometimes I like to go on Netflix and find some stuff I haven't seen before. And um, watch it. And that's what we did last night. I'm in here making some, um, some spaghetti. For dinner tonight. I haven't had this in a minute. And um yeah, let me see if I can turn around so you guys can <laughs> this is about to turn around so you guys can see my spaghetti. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Y'all know what? I forgot to do something. I forgot to cut up my um 
I forgot to cut up my uh, red peppers and green peppers. So let me do this, you guys. Let me get back with you all. Let me cut up my peppers real quick. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I had to cut me up some um, green and red peppers because I love green and red peppers in my spaghetti. I know they're going to soften up, but look. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have cook those first but I'm gonna cook this meat a little bit longer so they can um they can soften up and saute a little bit but um uh, the seasonings that I added in here that's my water for my stuff was salt uh Montreal um this I don't feel like naming all of y'all the garlic pepper onion powder and I add a little bit of this now when the sauce get going I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning some oregano uh, some stuff like that but first I add this which is con call spicy and hot sausage cuz I like my um, I like my spaghetti with a little kick to it so I'm enjoying some wine mmm <laughs> This is the wine that I'm drinking. I love this wine, you guys. It is so good. I use this app called uh, Vivino. Vivino. I'm sorry, y'all. And um, it is a. I, I, it helps me just pick out some wonderful wine. So that's actually. That's actually how I found that wine. Holding the camera just really too close. So I am going to let this meat kind of cook a little bit more so, you know, my peppers can cook in here. And then I'm gonna fry up my sausage. And then I'm gonna get this sauce going, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna do a mukbang because I want to so bad. I might do a mukbang. I don't know. I enjoy mukbangs. See that? So I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more. Don't laugh at my pan. This is my handy dandy pan. I have expensive pans, but I don't like to use them because this one cooks good to me. Okay. So. Mm. I'm going to get this meat cooked up, get these strings in, guys. I'll come back when I get the sauce going, and yeah. Okay, guys, so my, my noodles are done, which are salted and buttered. And then in here, I have my sauce going. <laughs> I have a sausage in here. Um... Ooh, this is popping everywhere. I'm gonna have to cut it down so you can see some of the sausage in there, the peppers. I don't put onions because my family don't like onions. I got some butter in there. So that's what I have going, oh guys. I put a lot of seasonings in there. I didn't feel like listing all the seasoning because this is not exactly a cooking video. But, um, yeah, I'm off tomorrow. This is my uh, off weekend. But, guys, uh, I don't know if you all saw my life. Uh, I accepted another job within the county. Um, my pay has <laughs> I I'm just so very proud of what I'm going to be doing. Um, and I'm going to release what I'm going to be doing once I start. I'll do a tour of my office and everything. Uh, but I am just really excited. I'm so happy. And Derek's trucking business. Um, we just started that. So, you know, it's been a blessing for us. I'm just living and loving life right now and I'm so excited about the many things that we have going the possibilities the, the future, all of that so 
My goal is that once this transportation company, we get a fleet of trucks on the ground, I'll be working with my husband doing the administrative work. But you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> So, yeah, I know this video has been kind of jumping around, but I wanted to give you guys just a glimpse of, you know, just kind of what my week has been like, um, a couple of days of my week, just, you know, keeping the video short, uh, short, sweet, simple, to the point, seeing what I'm doing, so, I'm going to get finished cooking my spaghetti, I'm going to let, um, I'm going to let, you know, this uh, simmer and cook. And um, I plate it up, and after I plate it up, I'll show you guys and end the video. All right, and I'm still enjoying my rant. Okay, you guys, the food is done. Here's my red, and here's my spaghetti. Like I said, that spicy kind of call sausage, um, green and red peppers, garlic, uh, ground beef, and a whole bunch of other seasonings. So. I'm about to eat. Uh, I was going to do a mukbang. I'm not going to do it because my battery is running low. And I'm just unable to do it. Yeah. So, I just want to do a quick video. Let you guys see what I've been doing for the past two or three days. going to go ahead and end the vlog. And eat my food. I might do a mukbang on tomorrow. I think I'm going to do it on tomorrow. But tonight, I'm not. I'm going to charge my phone, get this video edited. And then I'll film a mukbang with me eating spaghetti and probably drinking my wine. So I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye. Derek over there. <laughs> Play with the TV.